Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics, and in this video we are opening the box of the popular Magewell Frame Grabber HD-SDI to USB 3.0 adapter. And um, we have been doing a complete overview of all the Magewell products, and uh, we're going to show you all the opening of the box videos you can click to see each one, but in this one in particular it's the HD-SDI to USB 3.0 part of vlog number 44 and we think this will be a fun video. So let me go ahead and zoom into this product and then I will give you our disclaimer. Here it is here, uh, it comes with a short A to A, USB 3.0, mail to mail cable, and then an HD-SDI to micro HD-SDI, which I will explain in a moment. But let me first just show our disclaimer here. So Magewell has given us these products for free to do compatibility testing. So all of our reviews were not being paid for and the opinions are our own. Um, the purpose of these compatibility testing is to uh, populate our knowledge base with detailed information for our resellers, our dealers, our partners, our customers, so that you guys have uh, detailed information for compatibility because we know a lot of you guys use these products. So let's go ahead and look at the opening of the box video. This uh, HD-SDI to USB 3.0 uh, product is uh, used for 1080p 60 3G SDI and uh, it basically converts it to USB 3.0 so you can use it with Skype, GoToMeeting, WebEx, Vmix, Wirecast, the list goes on and on. Um, the XI100 has a micro coax input which can be converted to standard BNC with the included adapter if needed. This port uh, can accept SD, HD, and 3G SDI, and if you need to stream at a certain resolution regardless of the input, it will internally up, convert up or down the input to set the resolution. You can also prefer, perform frame rate conversions and deinterlacing in real time with the own hardware to reduce the processing load of your CPU. It uses the existing driver so you don't need to, um, I'll just keep playing this while I'm reading this, you don't need to, um, to get any new drivers that are completely driverless and it, it does, doesn't require a USB 3.0 port. It will work with USB 2.0 but the resolution and frame rate capabilities will be reduced due to restrictive bandwidth. There is no like real answer for that because um, it depends on your processing power of your computer as well. Um, but I'll read you some specs here in a moment. It'll automatically determine the input format and convert it to the specified output size and frame rate. It'll automatically convert input audios to 48 kilohertz for PCM stereo audio. And it has an onboard 64 megabit DDR2 onboard memory to control frame buffering and avoid interruptions or drop frames. These products are really high quality. The USB 3.0 throughput is 300 to 350 megabits per second. The 2.0 is 40 megabits per second. So that's a pretty good overview of the product. Uh, we've got all of these products that we're doing opening of the boxes for. So if you want to go ahead and click any of these, you will see that we have uh, opening of the boxes for the frame grabbers, the PCI cards, the Pro HDMI, the Dual HDMI, Quad HDMI, and the Quad HD SDI to learn a little bit more. Um, we also have a really cool new tech NDI integration that we're going to be talking about from Martin K of Zen Video Services. Um, so that video will be published October 26th and our lead support technician, our lead engineer, Matthew Davis, will be reviewing that. Then finally, uh, if you just want to learn more about Magewell and their product line, you can click this video to just get a little overview. And that's really it, guys. Uh, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about our products and services, our, our review videos. We have live streams every Friday. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care.